What's up guys? This is what you call cottontail and this is what you call blacktail jackrabbit. We're going to do a side by side comparison and watch to the end uh, to see how they taste and which one tastes better. I'm also going to show you guys a little bit of a clip of how we hunted them now but we're going to go ahead and cook them up too. All right, guys, we're back out here chasing rabbits again. As you guys can see, the weather is just Southern Nevada. It's been acting weird. Snow, I mean, we're in Southern Nevada and it actually snowed. This is a very special event here. Everybody I know says it hasn't snowed in years and years. And we're gonna see if we can get a cottontail to do the cottontail versus jackrabbit little taste challenge here. And uh, this is a spot we've hunted before. We know there's a lot of cottontails here. I filmed multiple videos shooting them here too. Let's go ahead and see if we can get on them. We got 12 gauge here. It's cold as you can see, I'm all bundled up, but let's see if we can't get on a couple. They're gonna be real furred up, I'm sure, in this stuff. It should be cool to see them. Look, you can tell there's quail in the area. Whenever you see their tracks, there's quail tracks everywhere right now. Quail right there. I think I heard one in here. Oh, they're in there. You hear them? Yeah. It's not quail season, guys, but we're going to show you how these quail do it. We heard them. We saw their tracks. We heard them. Now they're in here. Yeah, so they're in this bush. And that's why you need a dog, because you can walk all around this bush all you want. And they're really not going to bust until you, you know, start. There they go. You start, you start kicking the bush around and everything, and then. What are they, gambles, or? Yeah, yeah. The this snow makes it kind of easy, but we saw their tracks, you know, and then we could hear them. They make like a chirping sound. If you guys have ever uh, seen quail or anything, you'll know what we're talking about. So we saw the tracks, we heard them, then we kind of just walked that direction, and yeah, they tucked up in the bush. A dog always works great to point them out, and you just shoot them as they fly away. But that's pretty much how you find them here. We haven't really seen quail here in a while, but season closed early this year. Last year they would have been open, but this year it closed on the third, so we can't shoot them. We've seen them up there before. We'll make a loop, and then we'll come hit the valley and cross over the top here. Where are these rabbits at? They're hiding pretty good. There's one. Hold up. Cotton? A cross yeah. over the jackrabbit. You got your 22, right? You think you can shoot that far? No, huh? I don't know. I got a little pea shooter. It's a little 22. Maybe it'll reach. So my dad's got this little tiny 22 pistol. He's gonna try to take a shot at a rabbit way down there. Oh, dry fire. It looks like it was a misfire. Misfire? Misfire again. Two misfires? Oh, he's running now. Lucky rabbit. Oh, he's way up there. He was way down there. Look like you missed, huh? Did you even see where the bullet hit compared to the... No, this thing sucks. Two misfires. Two misfires in a row and then two shots? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> One more misfire and I'm going to melt this thing down and make a ring out of it. <laughs> Sell it for scrap metal. <laughs> Alright, he got away. I don't know where he went, but he's lucky. we get him next time. Yeah, he got real lucky. Let's go get him. They're not moving very, very much. It's 27 degrees out here. Yeah. It's freezing. It's freezing cold, so they're not running a whole lot. 27 might not sound a lot to you guys living up north too, but the desert cold is a lot different than northern cold. I'll tell you guys that because we, uh, I was out here with some people from like New York one time and it was only like 30 and they were just absolutely freezing too. So it's cold out here. It's cold. This is what you were doing while you were waiting for me? 
We'll be building him a snowman for beating us, huh? Yeah, leave it on the entrance. Yeah. There's a little house. I don't know what badger tracks look like, but... I've been seeing those everywhere. I was kind of trying to think what they were. Badger makes sense, though. There must be a couple in here right now. Check out this coyote track. The way you can tell it's a coyote track, because it has the X. When it has the X, that's a coyote. If it doesn't have the X, it's a cat. Walk out there and spook it. Down to the right, when it runs. You got him? Yeah. You missed that first one by a long shot. I thought he was gonna actually run, he didn't run. <laughs> I tried to lead him, because I thought he was gonna run. Cottontail down, finally. Ah, finally about a couple miles in, huh? Finally. I almost got him with the pea shooter you took so long. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that first shot, I thought he was gonna run. He didn't really run. I thought he was gonna run, so I tried to lead him into it. Didn't work out. Those close shots, if you're shooting modified, just put it right on them. Improved, you know, you can be in front of them a little bit and they'll still scatter them, but. Well, you just got dinner, perfect. That's gonna tear up his legs pretty bad. Oh, he's fine. I scattered him up pretty darn good. Is that a pygmy? I don't know. That might be a pygmy. Let's take a closer look. All right, we changed locations. So, looks a little different. Not so much snow. It's already warmer here. We lowered elevation, it went from 30 degrees to 50, so. All right guys, we just saw one. It's right here in this little wash. Right here, right here. Go. Looks like one popped out right by the truck, huh? Yeah, we were getting ready to head back and he popped out right here. I'm glad you didn't shoot the truck. Yeah. <laughs> I usually shoot fours or sixes. Sixes, you know, better for cottons, but I, I really prefer fours for jack. It did the job. Nice jack. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. No fleas or nothing. All right, so now we got them both. We're gonna go ahead and take them home and cook them up. We're gonna go ahead and clean them out here because they got a couple fleas on them. All right guys, it's the next day. Last night I fell asleep before cooking it. So it's gotten to sit overnight in the milk and now it's ready to be cooked. So before we get into this, I wanna thank somebody named Felipe Diaz. He actually bought a bunch of hats from us. So because he bought so many hats from us from SinCityOutdoors.net, this is like an original pattern right here. We got them on there, but since he bought so many hats from us, we're actually gonna give him this Gear Act Bino Harness right here. Our, our buddies from Gear Act sent us a couple, so I'm gonna send you this one with the hat. Just let me know what you think about it, maybe on my Instagram or in some comments on YouTube, and uh, I'll let them know. But other than that, it's time to get into cooking. First step we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna take out the meat. And this meat, the reason why we soaked it in the milk is because it helps draw out some of that blood. As you can see, the milk's starting to turn pink. But we're just gonna take all the meat right now and just give it a good wash. We're gonna fry this just to compare them both. So after we wash off the pieces like this jackrabbit shoulder right here, just patting them down a little dry. It's easier to, they grab the, the spices better when they're dry. So this is a perfect side-by-side -side comparison of the back quarters of uh, the rabbits. This is the cottontail, this is the jackrabbit. Huge difference. All right, here's a cool little view. I got the cottontail and the jackrabbit laid out. These jackrabbit, this is the jackrabbit side. You can see how long the back straps are compared to the cottontail on each quarter. First off, we're gonna clean up these back straps. You need to take off all the silver stuff. Everything that's not the color of meat needs to come off. The jackrabbit, it's crazy. It's a real dark red meat. It's a red meat, and the cottontail right here is like a white meat, like a chicken or a pork. This is more like a steak. These are all trimmed up now, and these are like little chicken fingers. So we're gonna cut them up in nuggets, and uh, that's how we're gonna fry them. Just nice little crispy pieces of rabbit. There's the jackrabbit, there's the cottontail. I'm gonna fry them separately. Hmm, boil powder, that sounds good. Garlic salt, that sounds good. Might be a little salty. And pepper. Can't really go wrong with that. Was you cooking up that rabbit? Hey. Yeah. What? I'm about to start it up. What are you using? Just oil? Oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Can't go wrong with that. I'm also going to throw in some flour. And should, you think I should whip up some egg whites too or no? Yeah, I would. Make, yeah. It, make it a little bit more crunchy. 
Don't forget to tell me when you finish. I want to eat me some rabbits. No, I was just playing. Don't put that in there. I was just messing around. So, looks like we're going to go the whole nine yards this time. We're going to use eggs and flour also on top of this. heated up the oil and now all we're gonna do is get these pieces of rabbit just like this one and you dip in our little seasonings right here the flour and the seasonings dip them in the egg white and then dip them back in the seasonings boom after you do that they go right into the hot oil we're gonna do that for both the jackrabbit and the cottontail just to take them out when they're done cooking nice and golden brown it's now done as you can see this is the cottontail this is a jackrabbit I kept it separated like I said I was going to I had the oil a little bit too hot when I was cooking these ones but they're still fine it's too, I figured out a little bit better and got those ones golden brown but as always before you serve anything I've been doing this the whole time I've been checking them I checked a couple of them make sure they're done you don't want to serve anything raw to people or, you know that they don't want to eat especially when it comes to, like these rabbits I'm not sure if you can but I wouldn't eat them you know medium rare or anything since they're all done just like they're supposed to be, now it's time to serve it. The cottontail on a toothpick and the jackrabbit on a toothpick. So remember, that one that I'm moving, cottontail, this big one, jackrabbit. What are you doing? Why am I on film? Alright. I can tell already. One's bigger, jackrabbit, one's smaller. Or did I cut them no, differently to, to trick you? I haven't even tasted them yet. <laughs> Why do you set me up for failure How like that? How was that? Good or no? That was delicious. Yeah? Whatever one that was, really was delicious. Two granules, too many of salt though. <laughs> it feels a little bit chewy. The other one was soft. This one feels like it was a little bit more muscular. Yeah. Which one? I would have wise. to say the second one was a jackrabbit. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. But what taste wise? The first one. If the whole YouTube thing don't work out in the long run, you need to open up a restaurant <laughs> called like, like uh, Sin City's Experiments. Like, <laughs> like Rabbits R Us or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ready to try some? Sure. Cottontail Jack Rabbit. First, second. Are you ready to try some? <laughs> it is. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Looks like chicken. <laughs> Smells like chicken. Must be chicken. It tastes the same. <laughs> tastes the same? <laughs> Was it a little chewier or? Yeah. But it tastes the same? <laughs> 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 it was a little chewier though. She's like, yeah, that one was chewier. She don't even say which one. The second one. <laughs> the second one So they taste exactly the same. Jeez. So now I guess it's actually time for me to taste it, huh? <laughs> I had them all tasting it without me even tasting some. Cottontail. Like my dad said, real tender. Everybody said real tender. Delicious. And also some jackrabbit. My dad's the only one that said that the jackrabbit tastes different. Everybody said in my whole family, they taste exactly the same. Jackrabbit's just a tiny little hair bit chewier. But other than that, amazing. I must say, I really enjoy this. Cottontail versus Jackrabbit, my conclusion is they taste exactly the same. Jackrabbit can just be a little bit more chewy. Jackrabbit, I mean, they're more plentiful and they're bigger. Tastes exactly the same to me. So, you guys should really recommend you try this recipe. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. In the city of Fishing, hunting, and the great outdoors.